can you say Daddy plays video games? Daddy's funny in the drinks. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, absolutely love it. We're back! Cherry Arc has such a great sense of humor. Of course, they never left us. They never left my heart, because Black Ops 2 is probably... Yeah, I'd probably say tied for number one favorite Call of Duty of all time. Now, Call of Duty 2015, definitely look forward to it. Definitely look forward to Treyarch and, and being a part of that. By the way, Treyarch, if you guys want to invite me out to uh, you know talk about the PC version of it, I'd love to come out and see you. Anyway, after that little plug, like like they watched this video, uh, wanted to talk about knifing in the next Call of Duty 2015. Now, I, I have some sharpshooter in the background, which is just means grab your ballistic knives and have a lot of fun and try not to get axed in the back. And um, I, I've been thinking about knifing tonight and, and the difference, you know, while I was playing this, I was actually playing, uh, you know, some TDM and some Domination. I was just using ballistic knives pretty much all night. Uh, whether that's troll face or not, I, I just, I love them so much. And, you know, I kind of wanted to start a discussion about knifing, your favorite knifing in Call of Duty and your least favorite. I would say my least favorite knifing experience in Call of Duty was definitely Ghosts. That, like, one and a half second pause when you stuck the knife in the chest. Now, I know what they were going for is, is again, as I've said it in previous videos, I appreciate Ghosts trying hard, which they did. They, they, did, they tried something completely different with a lot of different things, and knife is one of them. I mean, you went from like Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 3 uh, to where it was just this or even Black Ops 2 where it was very quick. It was very like swipey and quick and, and you had this really kind of odd knifing, knifing hitbox for, for different games to where for Call of Duty Ghosts which, like I said, is my least favorite knifing. You, you turn somebody around, or you, or you got somebody, and you, 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 bam, you stuck it in their chest, and there was this animation, and it completely stopped your combat, which I guess maybe feels, quote-unquote, maybe more realistic, uh, but I don't necessarily go for realistic when I'm playing Call of Duty. Uh, I don't regen you know, health in, in real life, and I almost feel like they took a page out of Battlefield's book, which, you know, in Battlefield, if, if let's say, for example, you come up on a sniper who, in the back, you'll actually, your character will flip him around and stab him. I mean, there, there's there's different animations throughout the Battlefield series, and that's kind of what it felt like when I, when I hopped on Ghost and I went to knife somebody, and it did that. And so, my favorite knifing is, is just hands down uh, ballistic knives. I mean, I've gotten double dogs and swarms and, and nuclears, all with ballistic knives previously. And, and that's just not knifing, it's actually shooting them. And I remember when ballistic knives came out in Black Ops 1, I thought they were just the coolest thing in the world. And I actually really sucked with them in Black Ops 1. And I, I wasn't too good with the knifing mechanics in Black Ops 1 because I felt like the hitbox was so close to your chest. And in, in, in where in here you kind of lunge out and it feels more akin to Modern Warfare 2. Now, if you guys played Modern Warfare 2 and had the commando streak and knifing, now that was redonkulous. I mean, that was just like troll face. Uh, you would literally, if you guys never played that, you would literally leap like five feet in front of you to knife somebody. It was just silly. I, I, it's just silly. And the people that can remember playing that game remember that it was just, I mean, it was goofy. Someone run, running commando and knife, it was just... You, you knew they were there to troll. That was pretty much it. Uh, that and the dual G18s. I hated those so much. Uh, now I, I talked to uh, I talked to someone tonight about what their favorite was, and they mentioned the, uh, the the bayonet from Black or from sorry from World of War. I didn't I, I didn't really have a lot of experience with that, and so I pulled up YouTube and I typed in you know World of War bayonet, and I kind of feel like I missed out. That looks like it was it would have been extremely satisfying. To kill someone with the bayonet at the end of the gun. Um, so there we go. We have the Black Ops one kind of holds close to your chest, but it was the the you know kind of creation of ballistic knives. You get the bayonet from World of War. Uh, you have you know Modern Warfare's two you know commando knife you know six seven foot lunge. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I can't even remember. I think it was just pretty much vanilla knifing in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, remind me, guys, how that was, because I, I don't necessarily remember that game. I mean, I know I played it a lot, but I really didn't knife a lot. I, I pretty much had the ACR, and that was it. You know, silenced ACR, that's all I used in that game. Um, but then when Black Ops 2 came out with this, you know, upgraded ballistic knife and everything like that, I really enjoyed it. I kind of just picked it up, and it was immediately something that I was good with. 
but that's what I want to talk about, knifing. What do you hope knifing is going to be like in the next Call of Duty? I'm hoping it's definitely sticking more towards the Black Ops 2. That's, that's my hope. Hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye! <laughs>